I've been using Obsidian for project management over the last three years since switching from Notion to Obsidian, but with Morgan's recent release of the AI Planner, I'm looking back at Notion to see if I can do my project management in there instead. At the moment, you can see inside of Obsidian, I have this task block. This is the name of the project. It's a task block. It's six hours long. It's high priority. This is the due date, and this is the ID that Morgan takes. However, inside of Notion, I have the same information. I've got the name, I've got the due date, I don't have an ID because that's automatically added with a Notion database, but then I have status and I also have a timeline property. I've got place for description and then I can also add relations, which I'll go to later. And Notion already has a built in calendar view, which Obsidian you can sort of do, but it doesn't work as well. But in Notion, I can see my timeline view. So this is when I plan to work in it over three days. This is over five days and this is the due date. Notion, you can't have the days on the same calendar, which is annoying. And going over to Notion Calendar, which is a little bit confusing, even if I turn on both of the calendars, you can see Project Morgan, Projects Morgan. If I hide this one, it now shows. If I show this one, it now hides the timeline and shows the due date, which seems odd to me if they're two separate calendars. But when I come into Morgan, you can see I've got the timeline, the planned timeline at the cross, so Monday to Friday. I've got it from Monday to Wednesday, and then I have the two deadlines. I've got the Obsidian AI Planner due on Wednesday, and then this one is due on Friday. And for clarity, this due date here and this due date here are synced to Notion. These dates are Morgan's specific planned dates, so they don't sync back to the timeline property in Notion, but the timeline property obviously shows inside the left sidebar. The main reason I'm exploring Notion at the moment instead of Obsidian for project management inside of Morgan is because if I go to the view, this is for my Obsidian import, I can display status prior Priority identifier, note, due date, and tag. I can group my projects by this, I can organize my projects by these things, and then I can order again by similar information. So at the moment you can see I've got hashtag video and then I'm grouping by priority. These are the priorities and then I've got the duration in the title because Obsidian again is local and it's all on that one task block. So that is this bit here, it's inside the title. Whereas in Notion that six is in a database property. If I go over to the Notion integration in Morgan, you can see we've still got the same overdue, due today, due tomorrow, due soon etc but the six is shown as a label underneath the timeline is also shown as display information underneath the due date is shown and if i go into the view settings you can see i can group by status and i can group by other information if i add the properties into notion so for those unfamiliar if i go to the import preferences you can see i'm importing the projects database from notion all of the tasks are going in. I don't really need to assign myself tasks because they're all for me. The status is done. So when the status property is done, I could select that is from this status property see to do in process. So it's looking for the complete. If I let's say add a publish to this and now I've refreshed the page. If I go to status, it's now got publish or done as an actual complete, which means if I go up and refresh Notion and Morgan, you can see inside filtering publish is now an option in the selector filter by because because publish isn't the done property, so it will still show inside of Morgan. And I've mapped the description property to the description. I've put the due date to the due date and the estimate to the estimate. I feel like they are fairly self-explanatory. And if I was to add something in the relation, so let's just add one that says record. So I'm adding a task in the task database that says record, and it's going to be related to the Notion AI Planner. Now, when I come into Morgan, I can see Notion AI Planner. Record is there as a label. That's because if I go to view, it's showing the task Morgan data database as a label. So we've got record showing there. If I add another task in, let's just say script. Now you can see in Morgan, it says record script, and then it's got the timeline and all the other information. If I want to hide, I could hide the timeline, hide the estimate and hide the status and just show there you go. That's the due. And then they are the tasks that are related to this project. That is something at the moment I can't do with Obsidian, which is why I'm exploring Notion. But if I leave that there for the moment, and then I go to the AI planner, which is what Morgan recently released, which is why I'm exploring Notion in the first place. You can see the Morgan AI planner has suggested I do the Obsidian one. Obviously, I've actually completed this, so I would have ticked this off. I've left it on for demonstration purposes but it's saying hey you need to do the obsidian like now because of course it's overdue and then we've got the notion ai planner video because well that is the next one due it's due at some point on friday so it's trying to get it in every single slot available now because i know i've actually completed the obsidian ai plan i'm going to right click and just ignore this task and the planner has just ignored it and now scheduled notion ai for the next three slots inside of these frames i've created and that's actually related to the reason why these are over in this miscellaneous frame rather than the morning afternoon or evening frame i have covered the morgan ai planner 
Table 4, which I'll leave a link in the top right, and it explains more about why these tasks are on the right and what all these settings are. Basically, I'm not going to push the schedule all because that actually puts them into the calendar. I'm going to push X and go to my frame. I'm going to go to the morning frame, and you can see it's going to schedule all tasks in this space. And at the moment, there's only two. If I go to the filtered tasks, go to Danny, I went to projects, and then all the tasks here. So I'm only letting the planner schedule things from the projects database. I could be more specific and say any project that's longer than two hours or any project that has tasks related to a record or script. That doesn't really make sense in this use case, but the other way. So from task, I could schedule for just the Notion AI planner project. If for example, it's a book project and I want a frame just to work on that book, I could say, yep, just this project. I'll get to some of those potential workflows in a minute, but then you can also filter for status. So not started in progress or published. So maybe some of the ideas you want an idea frame or an in progress frame, or maybe the statuses are edit, record, etc, etc. So you can say inside of here, I'm going to change the status. And now instead of it being in progress, I've got script, edit, record. So they wouldn't really be tasks. I'm managing the projects from the status instead. And so now when I come back to Morgan, you'll notice obviously the list have changed, but I can go into the frame, go edit, and now go to filter tasks, notion, projects, and then say, I just want to script in this block. I'm going to save that as a filter in the afternoon. I'm then going to edit. And so I only want to edit in this frame and it doesn't really make sense to uh, record in the evening because it's dark so I'm actually going to say I'm going to publish in the evening which at the moment as you can see there is nothing there because there is nothing in Notion that is of the published status and now when I go to the AI planner we've got the Obsidian AI planner coming back in because obviously this is a different planning session so I'm going to ignore that task and then we've got Notion AI planner Notion AI planner and nothing is in the evening slot because I can't publish it yet so that's one way I thought about project management in Notion but then the other way which is what I used to do is use tasks. Looking at the Notion task day space, you may recognize some of these because they appeared on that miscellaneous Saturday frame, but I've got the same kinds of properties. I've got the due date, I've got the description, I've got a priority, which is a select priority, which allows me to group them. Maybe you want to put them into stars, so I'm just going to add like four stars in here and say, yep, that is another priority. We've got the estimate. Now, this is a number property, so it works as in like one is one hour, two is two hours, so 0 0.5 is half of an hour, which is actually 30 minutes. We have those tasks that I made in the project database a minute ago, script and record, and they're obviously related to the project. And I'm showing the rollup and formula properties in Notion, but Morgan doesn't actually bring that information in yet. So if I come back into Morgan, go to projects and then show the tasks, ooh, you'll see I've got a task that's overdue, one that's due today, nothing due tomorrow, one due soon, but we're, if we go into the view, grouping by priority, that's that select property. So I've got high priority, medium priority, low priority, and then no priority. And now Morgan's refreshed, you can see we've got the four stars as a priority and the the select property that I was testing with earlier has now disappeared as well. So I could drag this in and say, I'm going to do it on that day. And maybe I actually want to do that there as well. And to clean things up a little bit, I'm actually going to say that I've done the Obsidian AI planner. So I'm going to complete that task, which if I go back into Notion, you'll see it has now been done. So when I go to the AI planner, it's suggesting the Notion AI planner on Friday. And then obviously the example task is filling up this block here. It doesn't fit in these frames down here because it's not in the right state. And then we've got the other task showing on this side. If I did want to add this Notion AI planner in this slot right here, I could. I could just drag it in from the side and then and then drop it in, but uh, I'll probably reduce that down to a couple of hours in there. And then it does a little recalculation. Now I did actually schedule that slot, which is why it's showing and the other hovers were just suggestions. So I'm going to delete that. But what I imagine many Notion users and what I would probably do is have a template set up. So if I show you this video template, obviously it's called video template, it's going to start with a status of not started estimate. I'm going to assume it's six hours. And then I've just got some tasks down the bottom, which I'll drag in once I've created it into the task database to make those tasks. And then with the filter, it just adds those tasks to the relation of the project database, which if I do that now, if I click there and then go video template, I'm then just going to click, drag and drop them in. Now I've got four tasks. If I scroll across, you'll see they're all related to video template because I didn't actually change the name of this. So new video idea. And now you can see it's still related to new video idea. Notion users will probably add more templated information using buttons, etc. for priorities, due dates, estimates. I will probably experiment. So maybe let's say one hour default in there, two hour default in there, edit maybe two hours as well. And then publish is going to take 30 minutes. I'm going to go back into Notion, go high, high, medium and low. I'm going 
going to let you use your imagination because I know you can add triggers. So if you say complete the script, it changes research from low to high priority. And obviously that will then change the priority status, which Morgan can then recognize. But I do actually want to add a due date on there. So Morgan sees it as priority because at the moment that's just a select property. So let's just drag all of that down. And now when I go to the Notion AI Planner, it's showing we've got the example task. It's saying publish. Obviously, I can't publish yet because I haven't done the script and research. So I will manually move that over. And let's say oh, I'm going to publish there. And we've got script research and we've got the Notion AI Planner in there. And that's because this is a different frame. I should have caught that. So if I go to this afternoon frame, you can see this is actually every week because it's a little bit shorter due to trampoline. And this is looking for all of the Notion tasks. So I'm going to add the medium priority in there. I think it was. Let's just double check. Yep, it was medium. Now we look at the air planner, script, research, edit. Good. And obviously the publish doesn't make sense to be there. So it would I'll manually move it over. For me, Obsidian is still a better writing tool because of the panes, the tabs, the speeds and everything else. But project planning, I'm going to have to experiment a little bit further with Notion to see how it goes. And there is a 14 day free trial to use Morgan, which I'll leave a, a link in the description below.